So I'm Richard McDonald with Flash Photo. We're uh, actually out of Los Gatos, California. Anybody been in our neck of the woods near uh, San Jose, tech hub of the planet? Thank you very much. So we're basically, um, we do something called synthetic reality. We're involved in a bunch of different industries, movies, automobiles, a bunch of different areas. Some of our customers uh, you've certainly heard of, uh, Lexus, Ford, Fuji, Walgreens, some of the biggest companies in the world. How we came about into the automotive uh, neck of the woods, shall we say, is we've noticed there's been a few changes. Anybody been involved in uh, automotive industry for 20 plus years? Anyone? So it was probably a little bit different, right, when you started than it is now. Would you say that the auto salesman had an awful lot of power before the internet? Pretty much the, the focal point of the transaction, right? Consumers know everything when they come in. Wouldn't you agree, or at least they think they do? You get, they're very educated, they know the price points, they know the models, they know the whole nine yards. How do you think that makes the, the bargaining power of the sales guy at the end of the day? Diminished, yeah? So with so much choice out there, how do you keep your prospects and your clients interested in your product once the doors close? It's very, very difficult, isn't it? Because there is a big world out there that doesn't involve you. So what we wanted to do is create a strategy that kept your client in your product with your branding even after the doors close. And that sounds like a mouthful, but I'll show you how we do it. If we just go to the, the next slide, um, you guys will notice you know, the internet is not small, right? There's like two billion people uh, online right now, and they search for everything. A majority of your customers have probably been you know, on the internet, quite frankly, before they've come in. But we're in the San Jose area. So let's suppose somebody was looking for a Lexus in San Jose. They'll probably do a Google search, right? No offense to anybody in Washington State. Is anybody in uh, Washington? What do we use in Washington State? No. Bing. <laughs> but the rest of the world, Google. So there's a crew up there called Lexus of Stevens Creek. And what we've actually done is we've developed an app for these guys that, again, will keep the client in the product and branded to you. So if we just cycle through, they actually have this on a turnstile where they've got their images. What you'll see when it gets to about the fifth or the sixth one is place yourself in a Lexus. So Aaron's going to go ahead and click anywhere on that page, and then it will be redirected to a landing page. One more click, and it's actually going to pull up every single page in their lineup. So you guys can send us all of your vehicles. Let's go ahead. Is anybody with Lexus, by the way, in the audience? We do this for Ford. We do it for Lexus. We do it for really anybody. It's not difficult. But let's go ahead and choose, uh, what's, what's our favorite one, the LFA? Is that the cool one? Pretty cool car, right? Even though you guys are probably with other companies. <laughs> so now what I can do is I can upload an image. We can take a picture from a webcam. We could grab an image off our hard drive. We actually have a bunch of celebrity images preloaded. So if Aaron just clicks the, the close button, we can upload like Donald Trump or Jerry Seinfeld or really anybody that we want. So let's go ahead and choose a celebrity. Did you, did you choose somebody yet? OK, what's this guy's name? The Lone Wolf guy. I think we should get MacGyver, right? Wouldn't MacGyver be cool in there? So we can actually zoom in, zoom out, change the aspect ratio. We do something called synthetic reality, where it will create a mask just around the head and strip off the whole body. That might sound really easy, but has anyone actually tried to do that in like a second, real time? Very difficult. Now, the next thing is we, the button over says random photo. It would have actually cycled through all of the vehicles with the head in there. But yeah, let's go back. Let's hit random photo. So oh, maybe I can't afford that car. It will now cycle through to the next vehicle. Do you guys have really slow internet speed like us? Apologize. It, it actually works really, really quick. But. So we could keep going through. What we've noticed is people tend to come in on the dream car, but what do you think they leave with? The reality, right? The, the reality, the reality vehicle. So OK, that's cool. I've, I've put this, my head in this vehicle. Do you think I might want to tell a few of my friends about it? Where do you think I might throw this thing? Anybody on Facebook? You heard of that, right? Only about a billion people on that. So now we can post this to the Facebook wall with one click of a button. Does that sound like a good idea? So if I'm the consumer, I might have taken that car for a test drive. But what if I took it for a test drive in cyberspace? Maybe get a little bit of peer feedback on that? So now we've got Jerry Seinfeld in the LFA. 
But what do you think the cool thing is? Do you guys see where it says Lexus Stevens Creek? So now, there's me, or there's the, what's his name again? I don't even know this guy's name. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. <laughs> he's, in the, he's in your vehicle and your branding. How often do your clients do your marketing for you? Probably not very often, but your clients are doing your marketing for you. After the doors close, you're continuing the conversation. Now, there's a lot of social media experts, quote unquote, in this room. I think a lot of them screw it up. They do what's called push marketing. If somebody ran up to you with a flyer and pushed it against your chest, are you going to go make 50 copies and hand them out to your friends? Probably not, right? You'd get really annoyed. This is the absolute opposite of push marketing. You're getting peer feedback. You're able to test drive the vehicle in cyberspace. But what if 50 of your friends said, oh, that's really cool, right? Do you think you'd go out and be more likely to buy that car? Absolutely. How many of you guys think that might actually help out business in your dealership with an app like this? Let me show you guys some of the results, right? The results on this kind of stuff are absolutely staggering. Engagement rate is typically around 1% to 2% with a Facebook ad. I don't know if any of you guys are running uh, Facebook ads. The cool thing about Facebook is people are crazy. They typically type in like 250 things about themselves. But we can sort for a very targeted group of people that Google cannot do. We can choose people between an age range who live within 20 miles of your dealership, work for certain companies, but the kicker is there's a group of people on Facebook called auto intenders. Anybody heard of that? What's an auto intender? Somebody who plans on buying a car. Hmm, you think we might want to market to them? So we can now place those people, you know, in an ad, we've got a really targeted environment. Typical engagement rate, 1.3%. Can you guys see down the bottom? What does that number say? 40% engagement rate, unheard of, because we're marketing to just the right group of people. So we can actually run your Facebook ad campaigns for you, pull in the right group of people, place the product next to the client with your branding. But we can also do that for auto intenders leading back into your website and energizing the traffic. So you know, overall, we've done you know, incredibly well with this. But hopefully, that will help you out some of you guys with your business. We are over at booth 113, which is next to the sham wow guy down there a little bit further. Um, but if we just get to pricing, very, very inexpensive. Keep going through. Yep, cool. We're actually set up for like an hour long presentation, so when we compact it to seven, we have to skip a few slides. So in terms of pricing, the basic deal is it's a one-time $2,500 setup fee, then 100 bucks a month. Um, if you want us to manage your social media campaign, we're at $500 a month and then a $4,000 setup fee. Uh, for those of you, if you have multiple dealerships or want to work out something in between that, we'd be more than happy to discuss. So again, my name is Richard McDonald. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Hope everybody has a really good show. And thanks again. Okay.